Is this a photo of my colleague or is it AI generated? AI deepfakes are everywhere in songs, news and videos. Distinguishing between real and fake is getting more and more difficult. How do tech companies tackle the problem and what can you do to protect yourself? How AI fakes damage you. Here's a deepfake scam in China that made headlines. A businessman was convinced in a video call to transfer money to a friend. But he fell victim to a deepfake created by a hacker with AI voice and image software. The man supposedly lost more than 500,000 euros. I think it's frightening what harm criminals can do with AI technology. As users, we should always be skeptical towards images and videos we see or voices we hear online. Check out these deepfake pictures of Donald Trump being arrested by police earlier this year. Images like that have the potential to manipulate and stir political camps and do much harm to our societies. And this also applies to texts. Thanks to AI software like ChatGPT, news articles can nowadays be generated in the blink of an eye. They spam the internet with low quality and even intentionally false news. That way, it's getting harder for users to find reliable information. What is being done by the industry? Some AI developers, among them Amazon, Google and OpenAI, have recently promised to make their software more transparent and their output more easily recognizable. Their strategy? Watermarks. They could come in different forms, for example as metadata. Cameras have been using that for decades. Metadata could automatically be added to AI-generated images or videos, and in theory, also to texts. But it's more difficult with texts, because once you insert the text into another system, for example from a text document to a browser, the metadata is gone. Digital images could also be watermarked cryptographically. There are already plenty of design tools that add hidden markings to images, for example to crawl the web looking for copyright violators. Another possibility is the blockchain. Creators could digitally sign a paragraph of text and could tell in case it was altered afterwards. This way they could identify potential falsification. Sounds good, but these approaches would need to work seamlessly across billions of devices and operating systems. All of these markings, be it on pictures, video, text or even sound, would have to survive being copied and pasted from one app, operating system or platform to another. To really have an impact, all of that would have to be accessible to everyone with an internet connection, without any training, immediately. So, there are quite a few technical hurdles to overcome and there's always the chance that criminals find a way to circumvent the measures. What can you do to protect yourself? Unfortunately, there is no easy way. Most importantly, always be aware that these AI fakes exist and that they are being used against you in different ways. So being skeptical towards what you see or hear online might be a good strategy. When it comes to online articles, check if the source is reliable and compare what you're reading with reports on the same story done by other media outlets. Deepfake images are getting more and more perfect, but sometimes certain things give away their fakeness. Inconsistencies in the neck area or fingers that are not connected, for example. Deepfake videos sometimes reveal mistakes when you watch them frame by frame. And always be careful if you're being asked for money, even if the person doing that is your granny during a video call. Is this really her contact showing up in the connection details? Rule of thumb, always look for possible inconsistencies before you make a decision. 